Hello friend, it's Mark out in the back 40. In this episode, we're gonna go over some of the different uh, chairs that I have used in blinds over time to help you make a decision on what might work for you this season. This is a quick look at some of the variety of chairs that I have used in blinds over time. This is just your plain old steel chair. You can probably get one of those for 50 cents at a garage sale. Don't do it, they're noisy, and they're really uncomfortable, and they're cold. That steel gets cold, holy moly. If you're in a cold climate like us in Michigan, it's cold. Uh, this works pretty good, um, but only light duty. You can only sit on it for about an hour, at least me. It's kind of more of a run and gun kind of chair, but I did use that in a blind back when I was younger. You know, you pick up these things cheap at a garage sale, hard seat, it creaks, it's noisy, uncomfortable, not cold like that one, but that sucked too. This is just a fixed chair, like a, maybe a break room or something or at a church, like if you got a bunch of chairs lined up at a church or something. And um, it worked okay, but um, it was uncomfortable too. It still gets uncomfortable. It doesn't swivel, it doesn't move, but I mean, it's okay, not greatest. And then you kind of get into these um, office chairs that work pretty good, but uh, let's go look at one of those a second. Um, most of what we've been using are chairs like this. They're just office furniture chairs. And we have an office furniture supplier in the town south of us here. And they must take in used, used uh, chairs and furniture from companies they sell new stuff to. And so every once in a while, they'll have a huge sale on used chairs, used tables, and all that kind of stuff too. But So I'll stop by and I'll pick up some of these chairs. I mean, these are really expensive. I'll pick them up for maybe 15 or 20 bucks a piece. And they're nice chairs. Um, the, what I liked about them the most, that the reason I really started using them is because I needed to get the chairs higher. Because the kids started hunting with me and the wife started hunting with me. And most chairs, fixed height chairs, were fine for me. I was tall enough that I could see out the windows really well. But you know, as soon as I had an eight-year-old kid in here with me, you know, they couldn't see over the window. So we'd bring out pillows and blankets and set those on the chair. And you know, they're wiggle, wiggle worms. And so when they're sitting on the chair, they wiggle around and the, the, the pillow will kind of start to fall off the chair. And then you have to set them down, put the chair back up and the pillows and everything and fluff it up and then set the kid back on it. And then that'll work for about 15 minutes. And then they're all getting loose and sliding down again. So anyways, if you've done that, you know what I'm talking about. So these chairs, are they're pneumatic, and you can raise and lower them. They probably adjust three or four inches up, and uh, that helped a lot. And it helped a lot when my wife started hunting, too. She's like 5'3", maybe something like that, 5'4". Um, so she needed to be a little higher than I did to see, too. And again, easy to adjust these chairs up and down. Um, what I don't like about these chairs is they seem quiet when I go to the store to buy them. They just seem like I can go up and down and move around with them and it's fine but i have found every time once i get them out in a blind holy moly there's little creaks and cracks and pops all the time and that drives me crazy and i, I feel like if there's a deer within 30 yards and i get a little pop hear that i mean that's like every one of these chairs has that and i i, I squirt them with wd-40 i do everything you know and i just can't make it go away long term so um, but other than that, they're nice chairs. So uh, they got arms on them, arms are adjustable, but you, you can go to garage sales, go to Goodwill, um, look for a look for a, a office supply, office furniture store around and just go in there. They're kind of wholesale-y kind of places. You might feel like you shouldn't go in there, but go in there. They've got a little, most of them have a little setup, some vignettes in there. And then in the back, a pile of used chairs that they'd be glad to, take some of your cash for and just a little bit of cash though so um okay so those are those and then um so what i tried to do then is i wanted a real quiet chair especially for a couple of the blinds i have around here like i want silence so i got frustrated with the office chairs and so a couple years ago redneck had these on sale on their website like really deep discount i don't remember what the price was but it was a deep deep discount so I bought four or five of these chairs and put them in the blinds. And I like those chairs. Um, but I found out a year or two later why they had these on sales because they upgraded to new chairs. But I'll go over that chair in a minute. But uh, I'm just going to set up a second and then we'll go over this chair. So this chair, you can see, folds up. It, it folds up really well, but don't let that fool you. It is not a chair that's meant to run and gun with. This thing... 
I bet that thing's got to weigh over 10 pounds. I mean, it is a solid, solid chair. But it does fold up. So if you have like an extra chair in one of your blinds and you don't want it in the way all the time, you can fold this up, lean it up against the wall. That's what I've done with it. Um, it does have a strap on the back side there, so you can just flop that over your shoulder and carry it out with you if you're going out to your blind for the first time or in September when you're getting things ready to go. Um, and then it folds into a regular chair pretty easy. And just like that, the chair is set up. Pretty simple. Um, it does have adjustments on it, which I like. You can see down here, there's um, these little tabs right here. You can push it in, adjust these feet up and down. See the foot there? And that makes it easy to uh, get it to the right height and the lean that you like. You can get a really good lean to it. Um, the, the, the seat itself swivels, which is nice. The back does not, so the whole thing doesn't articulate. The only thing that moves is the seat. And for the most part, that's been good enough for me. It has been. Um, the back is comfortable. This is a chair I can sit in for a, a good long hunt in the evening. You know, a couple hours, no problem. It's comfortable enough for me. It does have a little bit of squeak to it. And I, and what, I don't mean the mechanism doesn't squeak, but what seems to squeak is the the... The, between the material here and the padding on the inside. When it's cold, if you sit on that and move a little bit, you'll hear a little t -t 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 like that. It's not bad. The deer would probably have to be 10 yards from your blind. But what if there is one 10 yards from you and you hear that? So, um, but other than that, it's, it's a really good solid chair. Really nice and heavy. I like them, um, but I do like their new one better. So let's go over that one now. Okay, now I'm out in what I call our sanctuary blind, and I have to tell you that I'm amazed. Something I learned, and a lot of you guys maybe know this already, but every time I come out in this blind, there is wasp nest just everywhere. The, the inside of it is filled with them, so I, had, I came out with my trusty <laughs> spray can, getting ready to get into this thing so I could talk about this chair, and um, not one wasp, not one. And the reason I think that is, I'm not sure, is if you remember, I did a video earlier in the year where I talked about all new um, window blinds that I put on these things. And so I put all new window blinds on, I put a new seal on the door, and so it was completely dark inside this. Like, I mean, it is like pitch dark in here if I closed all these right now. And uh, that's how I've left it sitting here the whole year. And I'm amazed. Not, it's like nothing has ever been in here. There's nothing in here as far as critters, which uh, is great. Okay, anyway, so let's talk about the chair. So this is the, this is the new style redneck chair right here. And I really like this chair. So they've done a few neat things with it that I like. Number one is it's a mesh um, seat and back. And so... Like, I don't know if you can see there. See how, I mean, you can see through it. So it's kind of like uh, some of the newer tree stands that have more of a mesh in them, too. I like those way better. That way you don't have any bars going across where you sit, and uh, there's no bars in your back. Uh, when it is hot out, like it's really hot today, you have circulation through there. So it, it's, really, it's really comfortable. The other thing they did, if you look at these arms right here, I like having arms on a chair when I'm sitting there. But then when it's time, like if you see something, and you're trying to move around or get your weapon in place, sometimes I don't want an arm there because it's not the right thing. But these guys, smart, of course, right? They made it so you can tip them back. Isn't that slick? So either side, you can tip the arm back. So I really like that about this chair too. And then uh, the other thing that I like about it is the adjustability. If you can see down here, see how there's a, a screw right here? So you just spin the chair around to get it to the height that you want. And it's really easy to do. And then uh, once you have it at your height, I call it a 360 degree chair. I mean, I and that's why I have it in this blind because this is like head on a swivel blind, right? So um, it's easy and you're probably gonna get dizzy doing this. I probably shouldn't do this, should I? But I mean, I just, it's so easy to spin around. And the other thing is they figured out how to make it quiet. I mean, this thing, 
is silent. It's really quiet. The, it's, it, the bass is a little heavy. Um, the screw bar, or whatever that's called, is heavy. I mean, it's like kind of heavy duty. It's not a light duty chair. This is not a chair that you would run and gun with, not at all. This is a, a pretty heavy chair made to go in a blind, and uh, I like it. I think that, um, you know, you can sit in this thing for a long, long, long time, and it's really, really comfortable. So um, I, if I were to get more chairs, I would get more of these. I really like these. That's how much I like them. I think that they're great. And then the only concern that I think I would have with this chair is how low it can go. I have it pretty much about as low as it can go right now. And I almost feel like maybe, maybe my eyes are just a smidge too high. Um, but that's because I'm trying to look 10, 10 yards away from the blind straight down here. I'm five foot 10 and it's probably just right for me. It's probably just right. Probably up until six, a six footer maybe, you're gonna be just fine. Um, if you get taller than six foot, I think you might want to try it out. I'm not really sure. You, you know what? I'll I tell you what. If you're over six foot and you're thinking about this chair, message me and I'll measure the distance from the floor to the butt, whatever the lowest you can get for that. And then you can mock something up at home or mock something up in your blind around that height to see if it would be okay for you. So I'm, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have my tape measure on me. Um, but if you're if you're really tall, I'm not. It might not get short enough for you. That might be my only concern. So I would check that out. I'm not saying that that's true. I'm saying you might want to check that. Um, but as far as it going higher, it'll you just you just screw it and it'll go high. If you got a grandkid or something new on to sit next to you, shoot man, you can raise that thing six inches and they'll be able to see out. It's going to be great for that. So um, yeah, so that's kind of that's uh, that's this chair.